What's going on guys? This is the Vapen Rhino. Subscribe. Anyway, today I'm going to talk about something a little interesting. Everybody knows the V12 Prince smock tank, the sub-ohm tank, but the coils on these things can get expensive. And if you buy the cheap ones, you know, yeah, they're half price, but they only last half of the, half of the time. So, I mean, I think you can get them out there for like 20 bucks for a set of four or five come in a pack. You know, four or five dollars a coil, that's fucking a lot of money, you know? You let them go out dry once, and you burn the fucking cotton, you're done. You know what I'm saying? I, you ain't, there's no way. Because I was, like, I'd wait, I wouldn't dry them out, and after, like, using them for about a week, I would just uh, boil them and wash them, and that worked. I mean, that worked for the longest time. Honest to God, I mean, it, it, you know, I tried doing that. I mean, it, it, there's a bunch of videos out there. You know, what I do is I just put them in a pot, I boil them, I throw a little bit of a vodka in there, the alcohol disinfects everything. You know, uh, I don't have one of those fucking, uh, what do you call those, ah, goddamn, the name is slipping me. It's one of those things that cleans and shit, whatever. I can't think of the name right now. So I just boil it, but nothing's going to be boiling. I mean, shit, you kill everything, you shake everything out, uh, and then I would just dry them out nice and... You know, you reuse them again, and I've reused them four, five, six times. I've never had a problem. But the lifespan does diminish, you know. But I saw this online. Right over here. Excuse me. And there's this little guy right here. It's an RBA, and it's the same size of the cartridge. It's about 18 millimeters, and there's a little velocity deck on there. I mean, little tiny guy. Remember, it's the size of the, of the cartridge. It's got to fit the exact cartridge. So you open it up and you build an actual, like it's a building like an RDA. You know, it's got a little miniature velocity deck. You can put single coil, you can put two coils, whatever you like, you know. But, and I'll show you a little bit more about this. And uh, we'll take it on a map. And then we'll come back on top and I'll show you what it's all about. We'll see if it works. We'll, fee we'll see if it's worth the $10 for a one-time fee to buy and rebuild it yourself instead of going through money buying the coils. We'll go on the map, we'll come back on top, we'll take a vape on it, and we'll check it out. See you there. Thank you. What's going on, guys? Okay, so we're on the map. So this is a little uh, tutorial uh, in case you want to save some money uh, for those that have the V12 Smock Prince uh, sub -ohm tank. Okay, these cartridges, you know, they can get expensive. They can get really, really expensive, and uh, you know. So there is a way that you can do this with uh, uh, spending a little bit less money, and it is to buy this little RDA kit, or I should say RBA. Okay, so we're going to wrap it with some square 316 uh, stainless steel wire. This is a quarter millimeter by a quarter millimeter. All right, this is, and it's really great because you could also. Uh, uh, do temperature mode in this and wattage mode and we're going to wick it with the cotton candy collection cotton all right so let's get started let's put this on the side so uh now i did open this already and i did build it because i wanted to see what i was up against uh and i tell you this right now right off the bat uh, do not use this rda the way it comes packed it had a seven wrap clapton coil three millimeter inner diameter in this little thing okay so and actually uh, I'm gonna just measure this for you just to show you okay so basically this little RBA is supposed to replace the cartridge that's inside of the V12 prints uh, sub ohm tank okay so this is really not that big okay and it is it's 18 millimeters so they had two, seven, two, two, seven wrap Clapton coils in this little velocity deck right there. Amazing. I mean, it was touching the sidewalls. They were touching the posts. There was no way that thing was firing up. So if you're new to this, 
you need to be either take them out take a couple of wraps off and make a small diameter, maybe like a two and a half millimeter because they were three millimeter and uh, otherwise you're gonna run into some problems so but anyways let's get back so this is a little uh, mini velocity deck right there okay all right and we're gonna put a stainless steel square wire on here okay so we'll make a couple of coils we'll put them on there and we'll fire it up and we'll see okay so here we are I just did basic five wrap now these may look rough but it really isn't if you look them up close it's just because the wire is square that's all okay There we go. Okay, guys, sorry, my battery went dead, so I just wanted to show you. But basically, um, you know, like I said, I just wrapped it like this. And what you want to do is there's your air holes, and you kind of want to center those coils right on top of those air holes. You can see that. See? And like I said, I'll try to get as up and close as I can. These are square coils. They look rough, but it really isn't. It's just because the wire is square. All right. Got it nice and centered right there. <clears throat> so I'm going to wick them and we'll uh, just try this baby out. All right. And the only thing that I found from uh, testing it prior is that you really have to screw this thing on really, really good. I mean really good to make a, a nice solid connection. So what I do is I just grab it right there. Just be careful. You know, nothing crazy, but just have it on there nice and tight. Okay? And there's your airflow. All right. So there we go. So we're going to, let's put it on a mod. So let's see what the, it's 37. So with stainless steel, you want to start off really, really low. Okay? So, I mean, I usually start off like in the teens. And that also gives your coils some nice colors if you like to take, uh, uh, you know, shots. I don't know why I went to Kidok. All right, let's start off at 10 watts. Let's get some. So we got some nice coloring on there. It's just got to go. So uh, what you want to do here right now is, okay, so you got them all nice like that. See, you're going to want to go right there at the base. Okay, so you just cut your cotton right there. All right. And then what you want to do is, you got to fold it right, let me just, I uh, kind of can't show you, but there's like these little, uh, almost kind of like the Bushido style. You're going to want to go right in there, right behind, right there, right? Okay, so I can get the juice from the bottom. 
All right. Okay, just make sure you clear your airports. All right, so here's your, here's your, see, right there. You can see it. All right, just make sure you clear those. <clears throat> you can take a little wire, okay? And what I normally do is you can see this little channel right there on the side. See? Just make sure that that's nice and clear. It's not overstuffed because that's where your juice is going to flow in. So you're going to want that to be free. See what I'm saying? All right. Okay, so we're gonna like prime these uh, coils right over here. I'm gonna use a little uh, Mr. Meringue that was uh, suggested to me by Jay from Jay's Vapes. So I'm just gonna, right here, just nothing special, just like we normally do. It's like a mini, 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 mini RDA, that's all. You know, actually, I think there's smaller ones out there. I believe there's a uh, 14 millimeters, uh, 14 millimeter RDAs out there. God, my fingers are way too fat to work on this. I could just imagine working on that. So in order to avoid it to go down and right into the air airflow, I, I turn it on the side, you see, and just coil right there. Just wait a second and it soaks it right up. Do the same on the opposite side. This way you don't drip anything down into the, into the airflow and which is going to allow you to leak it from the outside. So nothing special, a couple shots right there, boom, right there. Okay, so that'll help it soak a little bit more, and there we go. So okay, so guys, I'm going to put this together, I'm going to take it back on top, and we're going to give this a shot. What's going on, guys? This is the Vape and Rhino, bada bing, bada boom, we're back on top with the Smart V12 Prince sub -ohm tank. Well, it's not a sub -ohm anymore, it's an RBA right now, or I guess... An RTA? I don't know what this would be called. But anyway, I, you've seen it. I built it. I mean, uh, uh, I would not consider using what they had in there. They had like a seven wrap Clapton coil. It was like three and a half millimeter in the diameter. I mean, it was a fucking mess. It was touching the sidewalls. It was like squished in there like this. I, please don't use that out of the box. Just be really cautious, okay? I took it apart. I used those coils on something bigger, like a goon or my uh, my Aquitas, you know, where it, it, where it's useful. On this, I showed you. I just put some uh, square stainless steel 316 coil, and I built five wraps, real simple, real small, just enough for this. And I'm vaping it at 30 watts. Okay, 30 watts. So let's check it out. Not bad, let's pick up some water, Joe, here. Let's go to 35. There you go. Remember, this is stainless steel. You don't really need to, you could actually do this in temperature mode as well. Which we could, let's do that right now. One, two, three. Yeah. I can't see. Excuse me, guys. It's Nikon. Stand still, right there. Perfect. Okay, we got it at 460 degrees Fahrenheit. Woo! You heard that? You heard that difference, huh? Wow. Not bad. Let's see what the wattage. Still at 35 watts, say. Guys, 10 bucks. The price of two cartridges, you can get this little device and build it yourself. And now, and the money that you're saving on cartridges, buy yourself something else. What can I tell you? I don't know. Do what the fuck you want with it. Buy your girl some fucking flowers. It works. It works, guys. Thank you for watching. This is the Vape and Rhino. Please consider subscribing to my channel. I appreciate it. Again, trying to grow. What can I tell you? If you want to see something, 
put it down, you want to make a comment, put it down, you have a problem, put it down, whatever the fuck you want, subscribe, because it doesn't fucking cost you anything.